we empower four key groups, health plans, providers, pharmacies, and life sciences organizations. With data-driven, cloud-based SaaS solutions, all in the Innovalon One platform, informed by decades of subject matter expertise, extensive national scale connectivity that connects to over two-thirds of the healthcare system, the largest primary source healthcare data set, and advanced analytics, including analytics that analyze 80% of all HEDIS covered lives. Most importantly, we keep the patient care experience at the center of everything we do. I'd like to introduce you to Diane and take you through her care journey. Diane is a retiree currently making her way across America with her husband in their RV. She is also a 65-year-old female living with hypertension, and she does have some severe asthma that's been plaguing her a bit on her travels. She wants to go out and hike and see the outdoors, and her conditions have been holding her back a little bit. But because she's been on these travels, she hasn't exactly been keeping up with her care. She hasn't seen her primary care physician in a while. Fortunately for Diane, her commercial health plan, her Medicaid health plan, and other key players across the continuum of care are watching out for her, and many people like her. While Diane is living her best RV life, they're using Innovalon software and data analytics to address everyday challenges. In fact, her health plan uses converged quality to look at some examples of its members who have condition gaps, like those who have high blood pressure that is not in control like Diane. The health plan is able to dig into their patient's data, look at all the members that might have this condition or an unmet quality gap, and act accordingly to address their gaps. Lo and behold, there's Diane. So, the health plan can then drill into Diane and see the quality gaps that Diane has met and her open quality gaps. And as you can see, controlling her high blood pressure is one of those gaps. And because the health plan is also using converged risk, they're able to look at both her quality gaps and risk gaps. In Diane's case, she's actually using the drug Lexapro, but she doesn't have a diagnosis for depression. So this shows up as a high confidence gap that they want to address. These quality and risk details make it clear that it's important to get Diane re-engaged with her care team, even while traveling across the country. Diane doesn't know it yet, but a doctor's visit is one of the next steps on her journey. With converged outreach, her health plan creates an outreach strategy which prioritizes intervention planning based on member gaps in care and behaviors that takes into account both the quality gaps and the risk gaps. The recommended plan for Diane is an EF, or an encounter facilitation, because it's got a high priority score. And the reason why it's choosing this particular method is they really want to see Diane come in and see her primary care physician. Meanwhile, Diane is enjoying her time on her trip, and she gets an email from the health plan recommending that she go see her primary care physician. Additionally, her provider gets an email too. The provider is using converged provider enablement, and they're able to see the same data view as the health plan. The provider can see the need to engage with Diane to evaluate for control of her hypertension and assess for the diagnosis of depression. This highlighted row shows that for the controlling high blood pressure quality measure, the program goal is not achieved. And when the physician continues to review the program details, they see there are depression diagnosis gaps that require evaluation as well. By drilling into the patient details, they can also see a list of patients and their associated quality and risk gap details that require evaluation. Diane is right there at the top, and as the physician scrolls to the right for more information on her care gaps, the hypertension gap for quality measurement and her diagnosis gap for risk are marked to act on. So the same data the health plan is using to improve the health of its population can be provided to the provider and everyone can get on the same page in improving patient outcomes and meeting value-based care targets. Back to Diane. She is now called to make her appointment with her provider, like the email from the health plan suggested. This kicks off another workflow, because we want Diane's experience when she comes into the office to be a seamless one. In this instance, the provider is using insurance discovery to go find Diane's insurance information. 
They're also using demographic verification to find some missing information. You can see here, one quick inquiry using Diane's basic details was able to find and confirm active commercial coverage that Diane had not mentioned. And her current address was found as well using demographic verification. There was actually a zip code missing that the software found, so now the provider has a more complete patient picture. Eligibility verification also confirmed the copay amount covered by Medicare for Diane's visit, which is great for her because now she won't have any surprises financially. And that's exactly the transparency we're looking for. We want Diane to know, hey, what's the health plan going to cover and what do I need to cover? With this software, the provider's intake team is ready for Diane. They've got her insurance covered. They know what the copay is going to be. And Diane is still enjoying her time out on the road. But she's working her way back home to meet with her primary care physician. Soon enough, her visit is only a few days away, and the provider is preparing for her arrival. The scheduling manager at the physician's office uses schedule management to take a look at what the demands are going to be the day Diane comes in. They want to make sure they have enough staff on hand to meet patient needs. In this solution, they can see they've got too many appointments for the staffing currently scheduled. So, with the new agency management module, the provider is able to open up some new shifts and then reach out to an agency to bring in more healthcare providers to help support the high patient volume on the day that Diane visits. It's so important to have this level of flexibility to meet patient demand. And with just a few clicks, the provider is able to do just that. On the day of her appointment, Diane arrives at the clinic and she's able to go right in to see her primary care physician because everything was taken care of up front. This really is a great experience coming in the door. Diane's doctor knows their time is short, but he wants to make the most of this encounter with her, given the time since her last visit and her health history. So instead of spending 10 to 15 minutes catching up on all her health details, he's going to use DataStream to see her medical history that may be outside of what he has in his EHR. The DataStream inquiry searches massive amounts of primary source, longitudinally linked patient data within the Moore Squared Registry. This includes billions of medical events, millions of patients, and hundreds of thousands of clinical facilities to find and securely share Diane's unique information. DataStream integrates all of Diane's different care encounters and medications prescribed since the last time she saw her physician and makes them all available in the provider's EHR. So he's able to confirm things like examples of hypertension, an asthma encounter, and some of the prescriptions she's been using. He can scroll further and see the Lexapro Diane is taking, a number of different steroid inhalers she's been trying to manage her asthma with. And then as he scrolls a little bit deeper, he can see that Diane has gone to the ER several times because of her asthma. All of this data is integrated into his experience in just a few seconds. And rather than spending 10 or 15 minutes trying to talk to Diane about what's happened since he last saw her, and she may or may not remember the details or the dates of some of these events, he has everything he needs. Plus, Diane gets to avoid that 20-page clipboard that's usually given to patients to get this information. Now the provider is ready to have a focused conversation with Diane about her health and see how he can make some improvements. The first thing he does is he takes her blood pressure. He sees it's actually in control and manageable. That's a check off the list he can cross off addressing that quality gap. He also asks about her inhalers because he observes she's tried several inhalers, but she's still going to the ER. Diane says, yeah, I've tried these, but they haven't worked as well as I would have liked, and I'm really trying to get out and go on hikes and take advantage of the outdoors on this RV trip. The provider thinks about it and says, you know, I have an option for you. How about we prescribe an asthma medication that's not an inhaler, but an injectable, Zolaire? And she says, that sounds like a good idea. I really want to get out hiking harder trails again. I'm willing to give it a go. Finally, he addresses the missing diagnosis code for depression. With a few screening questions, he is able to confirm her diagnosis and encourages her to keep taking her Lexapro and to continue to share how she's feeling with him and her mental health provider. 
Throughout this discussion, the provider has been making note of Diane's conditions in his converged patient assessment application. In this software, he completes her SOAP note, which includes confirming the type of encounter as an outpatient visit, documenting her blood pressure reading so it indicates her blood pressure is in control, completing depression screening questions, which allow the physician to indicate the severity of her depression based on his conversation with Diane about her quality of sleep, energy levels, appetite, any trouble concentrating, and any thoughts of self-harm, adding the diagnosis code for her depression, and confirming her depression medication as Lexapro, confirming Diane's asthma as a chronic condition and adding her new asthma medication, Zolaire, documenting the appropriate visit code for this encounter, and finally, saving all this information and submitting her Medicare SOAP note. So now, through this very structured encounter, the provider's been able to close a quality gap and a risk gap. He's been able to address Diane's asthma, hypertension, and depression, and submit all this in a documented SOAP note back to the health plan. This puts the physician and the health plan on the same page when it comes to Diane's care. Plus, Diane feels great about her experience. She's got a new medication that's going to help her with her asthma. She got her other conditions addressed, and it was all quick and easy for her. Now, as Diane is leaving, the physician's billing team jumps in to submit the claim using Claims Management Pro. As you can see at the start, there's a couple of things that need to be fixed. The advanced analytics review the claim and notice that the billing code is incorrect. So, the biller team can clearly see they need to make changes and put in the appropriate billing code for an outpatient visit. Claims Management Pro highlights other errors on the claim, like the missing zip code in the top left corner. So, now the biller is able to go in and fill that out to make sure the correct zip code is in there. Once that's completed and the biller rechecks the claim, you can see the status has moved from red to green. This tells the biller that they're ready for submission, and this pre-submission check significantly increases the likelihood of getting paid. Meanwhile, the clinical team has sent the prescription for Zolaire to Diane's specialty pharmacy, who is using ScriptMed Specialty. With ScriptMed Specialty, the pharmacist can perform a patient inquiry, which connects them to DataStream, just like the physician was able to do. This gives the pharmacist Diane's medical history with detail on what drugs she's currently taking or prescribed, which helps them understand if there are any potential drug complications to consider. Also in ScriptMed, the pharmacist can perform a prior authorization and run a test claim to confirm Diane's information and her insurance coverage for Zolaire. The response confirms her patient information and the details of the drug which is more convenient than calling an insurance company or trying to confirm things with the provider. They're able to do it automatically within their pharmacy software instead. The response that comes back allows the pharmacist to also see what the copay is going to be for this drug. So again, in the spirit of transparency for Diane, when she gets her prescription, she can clearly understand what her copay will be because there's no question for the pharmacist about her coverage. Now the pharmacist can pick up the phone and coordinate Diane's shipment to get her Zolaire where it needs to be. Because remember, Diane's on the road. She's traveling and they want to be able to deliver her medication to her next location. So now everything is coming together for Diane. Wherever she may be on her travels, the healthcare system has been ready to support her care journey. Her health plan initiated the encounter. Her provider made it easy for her to come in and gave her the care she needed and her specialty pharmacy shipped her prescription right to Diane's RV door. Now, Diane's enjoying her time away. She's able to take advantage of this new therapeutic, and she's out, she's hiking, she's enjoying the outdoors. And we're achieving our goal as a healthcare system to get Diane back in the swing of things and enjoying her life. But there's one thing she forgot, her copay for her doctor's visit. Fortunately, patient statement management allows her provider to send her a quick text with a link to submit her payment. When she clicks on that link, it takes her to a branded experience that matches up to her physician's branding, so she knows she can trust the link. She's able to then fill out her payment information quickly and easily. Now she's truly ready to go and live her best life. She's on the road. She's visiting national parks all over the country 
and she's really enjoyed this health transformation that's been provided to her by that change in prescription and taking care of her other conditions, too. Fast forward a few years, and the healthcare system is still working for Diane. A life sciences company reached out to Inovalon because they were very interested in developing a new inhaler for elderly patients that have not been able to use prior inhalers, just like Diane. The organization needed help executing their research and turned to Inovalon for de-identified real-world datasets to inform their development. Inovalon's Moore Squared Registry was able to provide the data they needed. This is the industry's largest primary source data set that's been accumulated over 25 years across tens of thousands of data agreements to build a longitudinally linked data set that can help with this drug discovery. And through our data solutions, we're able to help organizations plan their clinical trials and conduct observational research studies to meet clinical research goals and understand new markets. And the goal here is to bring new therapeutics to market faster. For the life sciences company working on its new inhaler, Innovalon's real-world data and solutions were a turning point. With these de-identified data points, the life sciences team accelerated their nuanced understanding of their new market, enhanced their clinical trial planning, and ultimately increased their speed to market. Diane's de-identified data helped get inhalers to patients in need faster than the manufacturer would have been able to do without these insights. And it benefits Diane, too. When she sees her doctor again this year, she now has the option to switch back to an inhaler and continue her asthma treatment in a way that better fits her lifestyle. All of Inovalon has powered this moment for Diane and patients like her. Not only has she had a seamless care journey, but the data from her experience has contributed to better care for many others. Diane's care journey is just one example of how health plans, providers, pharmacists, and life sciences organizations across the country use data to meet and serve patients where they are in their health journey, even when they're traveling cross-country in an RV. This is the importance of data and its impact on healthcare in action, which drives innovation for us at Innovalon and continues to be one of the driving forces throughout the industry, especially as we're applying AI and ML technologies to that data to speed up insights, create better decision-making, and ultimately, empower even better care outcomes and innovations.